back in ETV. Hey, welcome to our gorgeous location on Balcony TV London. I'm joined today by Ariana and the Rose. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Lovely. I'm good. What are you going to play for us? Uh, I'm going to play our single In Your Bed. In Your Bed. Okay, take it away. Lay me down slow. Touch me all over with your eyes. Let yourself go. We guide all night. Just because I'm in your bed doesn't mean I'm yours. Mean I'm yours. Just because I'm in your bed doesn't mean I'm yours. Mean I'm yours You're nothing more Don't know how to say Wish you wouldn't hold for so much more Wish you hadn't said a oh, whisper too loud to be ignored Hear me just hear me You think that you want me You need me, you don't And I won't I, oh, I waste night Just because I'm in your bed Doesn't mean I'm yours Mean I'm yours Give me everything I want Give me nothing more Nothing more just because I'm in your bed doesn't mean I'm yours, mean I'm yours. Give me everything I want, give me nothing more, nothing more. I, 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 I. The EP is called Head Versus Heart, and it's four songs. It has In Your Bed on it and a song called Heartbeat, which we released earlier in, I guess, at the end of 2013. And it's really exciting. It's my first EP. It's, you know, we're playing shows in London and New York, and we just did a tour across the U.S., so we've just been promoting the record. Excellent. So is there a kind of running theme through that EP with Head Versus Heart? Yeah, I, I, I didn't really realize it until it was sort of finished, but it's definitely that push and pull of doing things that maybe your head is saying isn't the best idea, but your heart's saying you want it to be, and, and sort of what that's about, and feeling like you really want to be doing things, and kind of growing up and doing what you want. Mm -hmm, totally. So yeah. does that carry on into the album that you're working on, do you think? A hundred percent. The whole record. I sort of, I thought that I was going to write a record kind of about you know, you write about love and things like that, but I've ended up kind of writing more of a coming of age story, which has been really fun to sort of explore themes that aren't just about, you know, breakups and relationships, but sort of about what it means to lose your way and have the people around you growing up and feeling like maybe you're not and, and kind of what it is to be, you know, in your early 20s and not yeah. knowing what's going on. Absolutely, that's really interesting. Yeah. Cool, so, I mean, there's a lot going on as well outside of Ariana and the Rose traditionally in that you've been doing some DJing. 
as well. Yes, so I have. That was really exciting. You were talking about how, um, just sort of earlier before this, about how you were DJing at the Sundance Festival. Yes, I was. And it was kind of weird because I didn't have like the guys up on stage with me. I was just sort of like alone, you know, and you're DJing. And it was so fun. And I got really into it. You know, it's it's really about planning, I think, DJing. And, and I was like, I felt sort of nerdy. Like I had all of my timestamps <laughs> and I was had all my songs and my remixes. Nice. And I was like a very prepared DJ. I felt... Uh, you know, maybe I, hopefully it appeared cooler, but in my mind I had all these notes and stuff. I oh, probably shouldn't you. tell people that, but <laughs> yeah. I loved it. Organized <laughs> chaos is what it is. Exactly. It's all good. Um, all right, so lastly, um, do tell us why you're called Ariana and the Rose. I think it's a lovely little sort of anecdote. Uh, um, so my middle name is Rose, and my grandmother's name is Rose. And so when uh, I wanted to name the band, I knew I wanted it to be Ariana and the, and I had a whole bunch of terrible names. Oh, what's some of the options? Uh, I think there was Ariana and the Starfish at one point. <laughs> just like really bad ones, really For bad ones. For your love ones. of aquariums, yeah, I'm exactly. sure. Something, I imagine, like something in stars, and I was like, this is terrible. You're, you're never going to You need something that. that means something yeah, to you. Yeah, and so actually a girlfriend of mine was like, why don't you just name it after your family, after you? Yeah. And my, you know, my mother, the first part of her name is Rose, and my grandmother, and I have a whole bunch of cousins I come from a big Italian family so everyone's middle name is Rose and my grandmother called it her Rose Garden so Beautiful. yeah it's like a it's a sort of homage to my family I guess oh that's really sweet all right well thank you so much Ariana and the Rose it's been an absolute pleasure thank to have you, you on thank board. you for having us thank you and join us again soon for another awesome session on Balcony TV London Balcony TV